Attending this conference is amazing. I wish everyone could possibly have the opportunity to attend it. What's being expressed is essential for us to move together as a people. I will never be able to look at the words othering and belonging the same way ever again. I love the way that the notion of othering and belonging gets to the core of what people have been doing to each other for thousands of years around the world, making some people us and others them. Othering, in a sense, it's a problem of the 21st century. It's not just a problem in the United States, it's a problem all over the world. And what is our response to that? How do we produce, offer, narrate an alternative vision all across the world? So that's what the conference is about. This is a conference about belonging and drawing that as broadly as possible. It has really pushed me to think about what loving your neighbor really means. How do we actually connect with people that we don't normally connect with? What does it mean to see the humanity in those who don't see your humanity? What are those things that really get at the meat and bones of like who people are? How do we move from just gathering and being upset and resisting to really creating the kind of change that we want? How do we get in touch with different aspects of ourselves? And when we do that, it actually becomes easier to connect with others, to build bridges with others as well. That's what I've really taken from this, you know, and stop looking at like the surface area things about people and just like, how can we connect? This whole idea of belonging, just really interrogating that, breaking it down. Also othering, because we want to throw that out the window. We want to other othering. You have artists, you have activists, you have educators, you have community members, you have students, you have teachers, you have everyone here, all here under really one mission. The diversity in every kind of conception of how we might think about diversity, if that's present. The creation of a community that has happened over a couple of days and the importance of integrating culture as part of our activism and part of our learning has been really beautiful. I think a big takeaway has been the feeling that we all know the entire game and landscape and roles have changed. And now more than ever, it's important that we really think outside the box. Really forcing ourselves to be creative, to be adventurous, and to really be comfortable with being uncomfortable now. In order for us to build a type of movement that gives everyday people the ability to be heard, counted, and visible, we have to build power. And we have to build a type of power that changes the rules both the written rules and the unwritten rules. It's been important to feel like I have concrete tools that I can take back, like tomorrow, to my organization and to schools to help further this work of belonging. There's a lot of very well-grounded research that's being presented and that's also being interfaced with what to do with that. So it's real, it's not just theory. There's definitely all of this information about how to take the next step to actually have an impact. This conference is fantastic, and I would hope that five years from now, this conference exists in little ways all around the country and the world because it's such a common challenge that we all face. I feel like this kind of conference needs to be happening all over the country. I hope one of the things that people take away from this conference is our responsibility in this moment to build the type of inclusive and holistic community that gives all of us the ability to fully realize our hopes, dreams, and aspirations. And in this environment, it's extremely important to not just quote unquote oppose, but to say we affirmatively embrace the notion that all life is of value. And we're gonna organize our cities, our counties, our schools, our books, our stories to reflect that. And I feel like I've, I'm evolving towards kind of a new language to describe the radical love for humanity that I have, and I'm sure that many others have. But yeah, it's lit. <laughs>